Alright, what's good everybody? It's Dr. Apolly. Today I'll be giving my thoughts on Smash for Switch, basically what I want to see from it and what it should do. With all the rumors for a Smash for Switch coming out, it's almost inevitable that we're gonna get a Smash for Switch, especially with E3 on the corner. It just seems like the perfect business move for Nintendo to make. Now for all we know, we could just be getting a Smash 4 port, but I feel like that'd be kind of underwhelming. I wouldn't be mad at all, like I can play Smash on the go, and that's not Smash for 3DS. But I feel like if they really want to bring the hype to E3, they're going to have to do some sort of Smash for Switch Deluxe Edition or something like that. Roller is in fact supported on the Switch now. What does this mean? I think that Smash for Switch is almost a no-brainer at this point. It has to happen. Smash 4 Deluxe, Smash for Switch port. But I do feel like a Smash for Switch is going to be coming. The possibility of a version 1.1.8 when Smash comes out for the Switch. Now, I'm gonna be honest with you, this video is kind of outdated now that Smash 5 is confirmed. This video was actually recorded a while ago, and I planned on uploading it the same week that Smash 5 was announced. But I just have all this footage and all these images and all this video lying around, I might as well use it for something. And since this is most likely a Smash 5 that's coming out, because, I mean, why would they have this invitational and then just have a bunch of people play Smash 4? I don't know, that doesn't seem very right to me. So I think it's is gonna I think it's almost confirmed now that's gonna be a Smash 5. So this video is more gonna be like subtle changes, like more nuanced changes compared to like the drastic changes we might see from Smash 5. But yeah, I didn't forget about this video, just kind of poor timing with the whole Smash for Switch thing. So while this video is kind of outdated and I did make a similar video to this video, I hope you still enjoy. First comment says, and buff the p okay. I want Mario's up smash to kill at K. Okay. I disliked as soon as you said, don't buff the puff. Ugh. Seriously, why do you guys want puff to be buffed? Like, I really don't understand it. Like, okay, maybe we can, like, make rest a little bit better. Like, make it star KO every time and maybe make it a little bit stronger. But I don't think you guys understand just how cancerous this character would be in a two-stock meta if she was actually viable. Now, you guys don't know this yet, but I played Captain L and he has a Jigglypuff. A really good Jigglypuff at that. Probably best Jigglypuff in the world. Hbox has actually beaten some pretty good players, so he's at least top three, I'd say. And it is the most cancerous, the, the most cancerous thing I've ever played in Smash 4. Like, <laughs> I'm just gonna show you guys some footage from our recording. Um, he was at my house, he's a good friend of my brother's. Anyway, long story. Um, I played against him, and it was, it's like the most cancerous character in the game, like, it's so cancer plague again. He just ledge stalls the entire time. And then you try and like go for like punish his regrab and then he uses um sing and then you fall asleep. Like, if anyone were to actually commit to playing this character as lame as Landon decides to play this character, and like if she was actually viable and actually good, it would be it would be horrible. Even Landon said that I don't want Puff to be buffed because this is just so cancer. Like, <laughs> why do you guys want Puff to be buffed? It, it, it's not a good idea. It's it's simply not a good idea. I don't know why you guys want this. Like, she's cancer in melee with alleged stalling and just brokenness in melee, and she's just gonna be even more cancer in Smash 4 if she was actually even somewhat good. Like, please don't buff the puff. Honestly, I don't understand you people. This is basically a meme on my channel at this point. I feel like I'm gonna upload an anime video and then someone's just gonna comment buff the puff or something like that. Sir Gumi says, immediately I think of Jigglypuff. Okay, we could just skip that one. Oh, well, later on he talks about Bayonetta nerfs, so remove stupid WTW2 mechan- I don't understand that lingo, I'm sorry. Someone can explain that to me in the comments and make me look stupid. ABK knockback growth from 38 to 50 to make it easier to escape from combos. Shorten the Witch Twist duration. I'm not sure that's the underlying problem with Witch Twist, but um, alright. Witch twist end leg from 5 to 15 frames to make it easier to punish. Give her RCO leg if she climaxes, downward ABK, uh, downward ABK cancels, or witch twist times before. Yeah, that is true. She should definitely receive the RCO leg from 
the witch time. Like, that doesn't make any sense. You can just witch time to the ground and you won't receive, like, any leg or really get punished all that hard. Especially if you do it on a platform, like, you won't really get punished all that hard if you land with witch time. Nair extension halved. I think that I think that he means um, the hitbox should be halved as big. Yeah, Nair, Nair's hitbox is just giant and it just edge guards super well. That's really, it's really broken. He has a bunch of other stuff there that you can look at, but for longevity's sake, the main one that comes out to me is triple jump removed. I definitely agree with that. I think I had that in my Bayonetta nerf video. You guys can go check that out in the cards. All of this makes her need to be more aggressive and creative, sort of like what they did with Sheik. Her combos are less powerful, but still existent. Bayonetta needs to force her opponents to precarious situations and capitalize. I do agree with those nerfs. Those are some really nice nerfs that don't like retract from her as a character, but just balance her out to make her, you know, more fair. Other nerfs include Cloud's limit air speed, switching from that to 1.25 to match Mewtwo. Yeah, Cloud's limit movement in general is just broken. Uh, Diddy Kong's down tilt frame four to frame six. Yeah, I agree with that. Diddy Kong's down tilt is a little bit too good. It's like really, really good. It does need a, a little bit more startup. I agree with that. Nick's universe wants some Zelda buffs. This includes increased weight, removal of Din's fire free fall. Yeah, that's actually really dumb. They should really just get rid of that free fall. Phantom Slash takes 17 damage, plus making it storable, plus it's shield cancelable. That is very true, honestly. Um, she should be able to shield cancel that. I definitely do agree with that. Please, for the love of God, make Nehru able to move after her up B instead of free falling for like three seconds. Honestly, that is so true. Like, I have no idea why you just up B and then you miss and like you have nothing to do. Like you could just you just fall down until at the very end where you can like move a little bit. Honestly, I don't know why that move is so bad. That really needs to be fixed. I agree with that. Weasel has a bunch of nerfs he wants for Cloud and Bayonetta, but we kind of went over those already, so we're just going to skip those. Other top slash high tiers, increased Diddy Kong startup on, on Banana Pull. Uh, okay. Increased knockback growth on Fox's up tilt. Ah, okay, that's fair. Remove fair footstool. Yeah, that, that should just go away. Fair footstool is really broken. Uh, nerf Luma's up air knockback. Yeah, they really need to nerf Luma's up air knockback. That's really gross. Nerf Mario's F smash and up smash knockback. Uh, F smash, I agree with. F smash's um, strong hit at least should be nerfed, but up smash? Eh. I think Mario doesn't really have very many kill options if he doesn't really, if he doesn't have up smash, so I don't really think up smash should go. But um, all right, increase end leg on Mewtwo Shadow Ball. That's fair. Decrease damage on Ryu's Fair and Bear. Yeah, those, those that thing does like 16 and 18 percent damage or something like that. It's crazy. Uh, increase end leg on Corrin's Pin. Okay, that's fair. Remove Luigi's Cyclone Gimp. Hold up, hold up, hold up. We can't just remove Luigi's Cyclone Gimp. That's just we can't just remove that. That's taking away too much from the character. That's like saying, let's remove Sonic Spin Dash. Like, what? No. We're not just gonna remove that. It, it can be mod modified, yeah. It should be modified a little bit. It's a little bit too broken, I'm not gonna lie. But, like, it's not something that needs to be out of the game. That takes away too much from Luigi's character. Am I saying this because I'm biased? Probably, but I just, I just don't think that removing it entirely is necessary or a good balancing move buffs make puff always do sky ko from a rest okay that's fair decrease bowser jr Me bowser jr's mecha koopa startup with end leg startup and end leg uh, okay decrease and uh, increase ddd's aerial mobility yeah i agree with that his, his aerial mobility is worse than luigi's like what <laughs> he's like a fast faller with no aerial mobility and it's it's kind of sad Increase damage on DDD's Gordo to push him back. I agree with that. I can just spam fireballs as Luigi against DDD and it just completely nullifies Gordo. It's kind of sad, really. Increase Kirby's ground and air speed. Yeah, that's fair. Kirby should have. Um, I agree with that for sure. Stare Facts says Ike needs a buff considering Cloud has completely destroyed any niche Ike has. Ike's forward smash could use way less end frames of end leg. As side B could be jump cancelable. Furthermore, his up throw combos could be more consistent at high percents to make viable alternatives to grapplers. We have already Bowser and DDD. Jump cancelling out of the side B does sound like a fair buff. And um, I don't really play Ike, so I don't really have anything to say on the 
<laughs> other stuff he mentioned. Z Past says, I don't really see the problem with buffing Puff if you really want to buff her. Oh my gosh. You people, I don't understand why you want this character to be good. She's so cancerous. You know what? I actually hope she's worse in the next Smash game. Yeah, you heard it from here. You heard it from me first. I hope she's worse in the next Smash game. I hope she's just completely irrelevant and if you play a puff in pools, it's basically a free win no matter what. Like, every character should just destroy this character. That's how I want the next Smash game to be. Eclipse says, please fix Charizard's Flare Blitz. The second hit doesn't connect and, he and let you do a lot of shield damage. Down tilt and F smash need her neck hitbox uh, hurt box removed. Needs more air speed. Yeah, these seem like just like kind of common sense um, buffs that I would probably add to the game if I were running the game. So yeah, I agree with these. If you make Falco a slower character and nerf his edge guarding, please give him a good neutral like giving him his lasers back. Honestly, if Falco had good lasers, like I don't think it would be like that broken, but like. I don't know, I'd, that'd be really annoying. I don't want Falco's lasers back in Smash 4. Maybe because I play Luigi, maybe I'm just really biased and I play Luigi, because Falco would completely shut down Luigi in neutral. If he had a good neutral, that would be very, very annoying. So uh, I, hope, I hope Falco doesn't get his arrows back, not arrows, lasers back. Uh, that's probably just me though. Or if you do bring it back, like make sure you can like power shield and reflect it because that would just be so annoying like oh my gosh that'd be that'd be horrible luigi slides like five feet away after each laser and if you can do that in neutral and like, just spam it that'd be that sounds like a nightmare nerf lucario's aura and some other stuff i already mentioned epic cake says i want greninja's nair to have less end leg off stage if you use it off stage you die and it has so much ending leg that is a fair buff in my opinion yankee mk has more general changes instead of character specific changes so it's like more akin to what you'll see in Smash for Switch maybe. Keep Cloud the same to be honest, remove Rage, remove Ledge Trumping because it doesn't reward good edge guarding in my opinion. Uh, nerf Rose's up air, bring back Dacus. While I don't agree with all of that, mostly the Ledge Trumping, um, those do sound pretty fair. Ledge Trumping, if like you could edge guard like traditionally in Brawl and Melee, Luigi would be so bad that'd be, that'd be horrible for me, but it I mean, if they do bring back ledge the old ledge mechanics, then it won't be like it'll still like balance the game. Like the game won't like be broken or anything, but like the a lot of the top tiers in this game would change. That's for sure. There's a bunch of other people who said a bunch of other stuff. Obviously, this video has a lot of comments, so you guys can look at the comments for that video if you feel so inclined. But I'm just gonna look at my loyal subscribers, like the things that they say, the people I always see in the comments section of my videos. I'm gonna look at what they say, and then I'm gonna close off the video. John Wallace has a really long list of changes, which I'm obviously not gonna go over all of it, but I'm gonna go over all of the stuff that I feel is worthy of mention. He says decrease end lag on Cloud side B. I definitely agree with that. Um, cloud side B, like even if you, like limit side B that is, even if you miss it, you still can't really punish it. And that's really dumb. It should have some more end lag. Luigi isn't that broken, but just annoying as hell to deal with. He grab combos you, but that's not what needs to be nerfed. Uh, what needs to be nerfed is his bear. Oh, that's interesting, by about 3%. Uh, I also think what needs to be buffed about his bear is that it should just have one solid hitbox. Like, not like that elegant hitbox you guys all saw at GTX. That shouldn't exist. That should have killed. And he says to compensate for that, Luigi should have better aerial mobility, which I can agree with. Rage should be more scalar instead of like a spectrum like it is now. He's saying at like 5% it should be this much, and at 45% this much, and then like at 100% this much. I do agree with that. That definitely rage should be like that if it is to be in the next Smash game. Dub says the logic of this character is broken in this. He's probably just talking about Puff. Move on. Yuramaz says that he wants Up Air to be nerfed from Korin, but give her a little bit more aerial mobility to take better use of her other kill options. That's fair. Having one move to kill, that's that's kind of lame. I think that a variety of kill options is nice, and you guys all know me. I love having more movement, so better aerial mobility is always welcome for me, too. And lastly here, Marcelo, I'm not going to try and pronounce that last name. He said, assuming this is a Smash 4 port, which is kind of what I'm doing in this video. It's kind of, this is under the assumption that's going to be a Smash 4 port. He says Bayonetta Witch Time should be dependent on the attack damage, which I definitely do agree with. Nerf Lucario's aura mechanic, yeah, that's just really silly. 
Ryu's true Shoryuken. Oh yeah, that's just... That move is really good. That's like top 5 best move in the game for sure. Luigi Cyclone hit stun reduction. I definitely do agree with that. Um, if we're gonna nerf Luigi Cyclone, that's how we should do it. Not just get rid of it or increase the SDI multiplier that just changes the fundamental... That should change Luigi's fundamental gameplay way too much. Buff Sheik's bear slightly. Yeah, I can agree with that. Buff Luigi's aerial mobility. Yeah, I also do agree with that. Puff? Uh, no. Pac-Man grab, Little Max recovery, and Robin's run speed. Definitely do agree with all of those too. As for mechanics, bring back ledge cancelling, Dacus, and shield pushback. The shield needs to be nerfed in general. I do agree with that. The shield is a little bit too good in this game. I play Luigi and I, like, the shield is still too good, and Luigi obviously relies on his shield a lot for stuff. And of course, raid shenanigans. Make it so multi-attacks don't cause so much jank at high percents. Hell yeah, Mario's up B, Samus is up B, bunch of other characters and their multi-hits, it's really jank. So there you guys have it, that's all you guys want, most of what you guys want to see in a Smash, for, in a Smash 4 port. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys later. Alright, peace. Versus Zero, and then they go to Smashville, and then the music you hear is... Paul, Smash for Switch is never gonna be a thing. Let it go, honey. Alright.